Get a bowl of that spill. Gents, drink. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On foot, in a car, by bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. She wants a five-star. Two club sandwiches. Thank you, waitress. I can't decide between the tuna fish and the chicken. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And yeah, she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bluff. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. Go, get after it. Get him. Come on, got a ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Phelps, the guy's getting closer. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're stickless for routine. Spin him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. All right, all right, I've got you. I've had enough. Put your hands where I can see them. Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk, pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me, a cheap shot. After that, I don't know.
What happened to the woman? Your guess is as good as mine. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks, ma'am. He wants a five-star goddamn... You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? I want another comment. <laughs> Need a drink. I got the jitters again. He's in interview too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Clown. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Barron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. 